I should say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Yes, we are mega real late. Yes, we know the F1's on. Yes, we know you're probably going to be watching the F1. Watch us instead. Oh, We're Ma more unpredictable. Max is... Yeah, exactly. Max is going to win. There we go. Sorted that one out for you. Max bloke. But, yeah, it's pretty breezy here this morning. Here at Manchester. Um, decent crosswinds, so uh, we're hoping for a bit of sportiness, hoping those pilots are made to work for the money for <laughs> once. So uh, let's see how today goes. We do have the tent ready to go. We do, some rain inbound apparently. Uh, Trev, good morning James, good morning. Uh, Robert, good morning. Our first oh, uh, arrival, well, we're not arrival, but uh, first arrival of the show, I should say, uh, is just tracking around uh, to turn on to finals. It's just going around the back of North Manchester. And there's the Air France making a left turn. They're going to be taking off for the first uh, 15 minutes um, on runway one or not runway one is it it's uh c3 right and then we'll switch over to dual ops and then we'll have dual ops till 9 30 a.m and then we'll sw uh, switch back to single lots for the rest of the show we're in expected to start at 6 15 yeah. and we have our first departure sneaky rhino Tui from uh, Melbourne, Florida, just turning on to finals now. And, uh, LA Girl, good morning. Morning, Daryl. Morning, Daryl. Great to have you in, mate. And next departure is ready to go. It's a tight one. Ah, it's the KLM, off to Amsterdam. Be it next out to uh, fake Brussels. And then the Air France. Uh, uh, apologies for being early. Just keen. <laughs> oh, to be honest, I think it's probably a good thing if the rain's coming. Yeah. There's the Ops car, it's just uh, done the runway inspection on two, three left. And we do have our next departure. It's building up. Well, not spilling up. It's actually on the move. It's a Ryanair. Right not many people going to fake Brussels today, though. No. Good morning, David. Good morning. Great to have you in. 
Uh, and I saw your uh, your message about your, your clocks changing. Winter's uh, on its way for you. And sprouts. And some sprouts. <laughs> That'd be weirder than uh, Simon's answer, which was mint. Right, first arrival. And the reason <laughs> why we came down here is because we get to see the planes coming in for a little bit longer than where we'd normally be. I think we might be a little compromised on uh, two, three left uh, departures today, but uh, I think... They're only still half nine, so... Exactly, but I think uh, for this, I think we're going to be in really good position. So, as you probably know, we've got Storm Kathleen uh, blowing through the UK at the moment. And you probably watched Big Jet yesterday. I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, you'll probably know all the fun that they were having down there. Um, and also here as well, we had, a bit of, uh, we had quite a few uh, diversions here. I uh, had a few go-rounds as well, so uh, a little bit of fun. Um, I heard from someone who works, who watches this channel. Uh, yeah, fun, some of the passengers were finding it a bit sporty yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's down there. Uh, yeah, look at that crab angle on that. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, if they want to land over here where we are, that's cool. <laughs> Well, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. It's actually uh, taking the crab angle off relatively early there. Still a bit on there, but the most of it's taken off. Let's see how they do. Oh, those wings are nice and level. No problems there for the two, eh? Well, then he says that. No, all good. You can see the uh, rudder corrections there. And a nice bit of spray. I think the problem they'll have is because um, there are just some random gusts that is a crosswind, so... Yeah, there are road gusts. Uh, we had one when we were setting the, uh, the tent up today, so... Uh, it was great timing. Uh, no, Daryl, did not camp here. I slept in my lovely warm bed last night. So the alarm went off. <laughs> uh, next arrival, we've got Virgin Atlantic in from Orlando. Yep. That is, what even is it this morning? Yeah, well, uh, another reason why we went so early is... 3.30. All the transatlantics are over here double quick this morning. Um, yes. And uh, behind them is another version of Atlantic. That's from New York. Yes. And then we've got the Alingus as well from New York. That should be in uh, close pursuit. Seven and a half hours from Orlando today. It's pretty quick, that, isn't it? That's not bad. That's New York. Okay, they have a departure, but the Virgin Atlantic has come in at a shot, so... Six hours, uh, eight minutes from New York. Uh, it's the Air France A220, now going out. Nice to have this on the night stop. Wow, that's up early. Virgin Atlantic. There it is. Still facing us. Which is <laughs> nice of them. Oh, this one's getting hit a little bit more than the uh, the two that just come in a minute ago. There have been a couple of uh, 
Rogue blust. Uh, gust in the last few, few seconds. I like a blust. Yeah, it's <laughs> a new, new word I just invented. I'll say they've got those wings nice and level. And it's about here where they usually have the issues. Into the flare. Oh, very good. Very good. And wow, look at that spray. Morning, Big Red. Uh, no, Daryl, I'm not singing. <laughs> Far too early for uh, any kind of singing. Birds don't need that. Yeah, we've already had Carlos this morning. And uh, Barry the Goose as well. Yeah, Barry the Goose has been making quite a few appearances on the show of light. He has. I think we said the other day we were actually uh, debating a uh, Barry the Goose emoji. <laughs> Literally, that was a one way conversation. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh, let's have something to do with the airlines. I'm like, oh, goose. Oh, there he is now. Near him. Uh, Alan, good morning. Waters, good morning. What's the... Great to have you in, mate. Assuming we're on, like, split screen. Yeah, we are. He's, uh, he's in multitask mode this morning. <laughs> Appreciate that. I know the Formula One's on. I'm not going to deny. Sorry, it means I'm not behind in the chat. Oh, that's true. All right, we do have a departure. And as you can imagine, it's another Ryanair. Off to Malta. Thanks for changing that sun in a max over there. Arrival. I think you can see why I went early. Yeah, the uh, Aer Lingus from JFK is just about to turn onto finals as well. Yeah. We were we were like saying uh, it was either we start early or we were just going to push the show back at half an hour because there's literally yeah. nothing coming in. So then, so stuff, plenty of stuff going out. Oh yeah, there's loads, but it's just like today's really about things coming in. Oh, I know. I could have watched the race for an hour there. You see? Oh, I see. Oh, and dedication there from Simon. Yeah. Multitasking legend. <laughs> oh, whoa, tipping that wing down there, but corrected it straight away. Good job. This looks pretty smooth. Smashing it. You can see there's a lot of rudder correction there. Let's see that spray. Morning, Matt. So it looks like another lovely day down here in East Anglia. Uh, like oh, yeah, it's a good a weekend, yeah. yeah. Well, he set himself up, at the, you know, correctly with uh, <laughs> this little snack. Of course. He had some snacks last night. I love some snacks. It's making me hungry. <laughs> I think Matt knows as well because he liked the uh, tweet. Which one? Pizza one. Oh, right. Yes, I forgot about that one. I was just thinking the horse. <laughs> no, we're not eating horse. No. <laughs> I know some people do. Well, yeah. Hashtag horse burger. But, uh, if you shop at Tesco, right? Where's, where's living at large when you need them? <laughs> watching the F1. Yeah. Um, oh, well, David, we just thought we'd start early to keep you company while you still got work to do. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, that, that was the main, that was the only yeah. reason. I've <laughs> got our first uh, departure coming across to runway two. Yes, got two. Next out there, EasyJet off down to Palmer. 
and still waiting down at that end is a Lufthansa going back to Frankfurt and a Tui that's going to Faro. So pretty Swiss Air, good morning Adrian. Good morning, great to have you in. Right, departure. The F one's great. Everyone turns into a lurker. <laughs> Never felt so on point with the chat. Just remember, when that race finishes, you're going to be absolutely hammered in that chat. Oh, it's been red flagged. There we go. Everyone's going to start chatting now. Great to have you in. Saying whoop whoop. That is the wrong app. Apparently rain starting in at ten minutes. Is it heavy? Mm, it's not great. Pardon? Yeah, it's uh well, if it's that, I'm worried, but I can't see how because the wind's going that way. Mm. I've just got no clouds to work. It's coming from there. I don't know, uh, I'm not sure about that. Well, I guess we'll find out in about 10 minutes, time. Huh? Yeah, just to say, um, if it does start raining, we uh, need to um, get the tent all over the gear and lower the gear and everything. It'll just be chaos for 10 minutes, well, five minutes. Well, hopefully, so, uh, if we can just get the air lingers in. <laughs> Just be patient with us if that happens. Uh. Ellen is at Cheadle. The Lufty. Yeah. Oh, that got hit on departure. Well, not majorly, but you can tell. Just tip, tilt it down. The nose that way, I should say. The Erlingus. Apparently, it's very wet in Southport. Ah, <laughs> uh, so okay, so that's why it's okay. So the update. Yeah, it does look bad over there. I must say, mm. I am looking over there as we uh, speak. <laughs> oh, there's rain. All right, we'll just get this Erlingus in, and then we're going to go to a. Uh, There we go, really good landing there. Let's get this spray landing. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lower the camera down now. You're just gonna have to bear with us for a minute because we have to lower stuff. And it's gonna be nasty. Give me two sacks. Shit. I need said something there. <laughs> I know it said shaz bats rather than the word you're probably thinking. Of course, the wind picks up now, doesn't it? Yep, let's go. I did not go tap there. That, right, do you want to wear? Uh... Alright, get it into position. Yeah, I can just stuff them there, right. I think. Let me just peg. I've got it. Okay. Oh, I 
hit a rock, don't I? Little puppy pegs. There's a plane over there. Oh, Right, I'm gonna go in. Yeah. Oh, well, wow. it's fence cam. That looks like a shot of a photographer I know. Okay. Right, you, have to go, you have to go further back than normal. Okay. Right, I think we should be alright in this position. Oh, I'll put my iPad over there. There we go. And then... That is pretty much kind of level, it's not, but... <laughs> oh, that's one key. <laughs> I don't think this rain's going to be here for long. No, I don't think it is. But it's, as you can it tell. It is due to be heavy while it is here. Yeah, that's the issue. So, I kind of knew this was going to happen, so. There we go, let's get this. Right, hopefully this is in the right position. Uh, morning, Diana. Uh, thanks for coming in. Oh wow, that was, uh, and that's going against the tent. Great. Right, I need to. Do you want to move it back a bit? No, I just, I just need to adjust the okay. position a bit. <laughs> Sorry about this, everybody. I do apologise. David, it's always my luck. I mean, to be fair, because the ground has been raining that much. I feel like I'm Big Jet TV where he's moving from there. <laughs> what do you call it? I want horses. <laughs> um, jelly, jelly, oh my god. What a legend. <laughs> Love that. Um, I have my good morning. I'm hoping this means that we can get the arrival still. Yes, that works. Awesome. And I'm hoping on this pan. Prove that we can get the uh... awesome. Um, I'm just trying to live. Good morning, Lady Crew. Good morning. Go on. Seen, uh, Lord Crew may be around as well somewhere. Lord Crew in the chat. Good to have him in there. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. I spied you in uh, Big J yesterday. I would have said hello, but the chat. I was getting a headache with the chat chat. Uh, it was going at like five billion miles an hour. So it is crazy that chat, is it? When, when you got, I was watching the horses. You got like fifteen thousand people in there. Plus, it's like it's a bit chaotic. 
We're just watching and enjoying it. Yeah, uh, morning, Jordan. Uh, morning, Annette. Uh, when you've got a second, you can just pass my iPad back. That's great. this up. Really bad position here. What did you do? No, I, mean, I just mean positional wise. Oh, okay. It's not great. thing is, if I go out there, the issue I've got is... I can try it's... and move the tent peg and pull it back a bit. No, it's not that. Oh, it, okay. It's literally... The, the, the camera's outside. I don't... Okay. Try and cover? It has to be. Yeah. I don't, we don't think it's going to be here for particularly long, but I think whilst it's going to be here, it's going to be an absolute massive pain in the proverbial backside. Also, I can never find... the bag with the rain covers in. One sec. Once you've done that, go down to the uh, El Lingus uh, from Orlando. Yep. Just at Hill Green, 3.30. There it is. All right, let's see how this one does. My mic is literally about to fall off. It's good that I noticed that. Oh, this one's having a quite a few moments here. Yeah, look at that. That's getting smashed around there. Let's see how they do when they enter the flare. Pretty decent, to be honest. Of spray coming up from A330. And we have this uh, Ryanair Max going out now. Dreamliner from Doha, that'll be next in. So just up at Hyde, be with us in a few minutes. Excellent. Uh, lady crew, I wish it was bacon sizzling. And I'm assumed by a motor, you mean car, <laughs> uh, and play, play golf in that weather. Yeah, play golf in any weather. Okay. Oh, that level is doing my head in. Yeah, we'll good after morning, saying so it's Steve now and Rain in Ashton. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's not great at the moment. Hopefully, it, the forecast is for it to be for, to go, isn't it? Quite it quickly. It is. It is. Um, however, I know there's another spot, uh, spot after that, isn't there? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think they might. I think they might get away with us. Have another look. Yeah, I'll just have to uh, keep checking because it'd be great if we can get outside because that means I can have the tripod higher. 
means he can get the departures a bit more and we can get more of the arrivals. Um, so, yes. And uh, Melbourne Flights with the two Aussie dollars. Get in there. Playing, uh, hi, Liz and Simon. Hi there, mate. Good morning. Thank you so much. I uh, hope you're doing well. All right, Dalsa, good morning. Piotr, good morning. Uh, easy jet off to Geneva. That was really weird on flight radar. I, I, I was like, oh, it's not showing. And I, I thought it was just something, Ooh, there was something going over. I had a moment on the uh, after rotation there. Well, it was just showing and going itself going sideways down the runway. <laughs> so, uh, it was literally doing that as it took off. Oh, uh, wow, fair enough. It's like fun. All right, let's just stick it on that tower. See if we can get this. Now that is pretty much dead on. I mean, can I tilt it just a bit? Is that right? That'll do. Um, yeah, Sarah, there were um, some diverts there, weren't there, did you say? There were from Dublin. Um, we had... Uh, Tim's brother was over there flying back as well. And he, we actually thought, because I was talking to uh, think Tom at the time, uh, there might have been a cancellation on that one. But yes, we did have uh, we had diversions from there. I know uh, we had we went to Liverpool as well. But yeah, Dublin was uh, rather chaotic yesterday. Yeah, but, uh, so I was just saying I had a friend flying from Boston to Dublin. Uh, not sure if they landed there. Uh, can you pass my iPad, please? Yeah. Thank you. And uh, Qatar's. Uh, Hill Green. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm hoping I'll just turn that the right way, though. Exposure. This thing looks like he's having no issues whatsoever. Get a Dreamliner. They're decent. Yeah, landed on the left gear a little bit, but I tell you what, you take that any day of the week in these conditions. And just bring it up a decent amount of spray. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, it's decent, that. Hot lady crew with a breakfast report saying uh, toast and marmite. Oh. oh, you love it or you hate it. Oh. <laughs> you know where I, where I am on that one. I, I, was, I, I remember trying it. I was kind of indifferent. Like I didn't. I didn't go. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever tasted. But it was also like, well, I'm not. I'm not going to buy a jar. So I'm. I'm a weird one. I absolutely hate it. Okay. However, I like the Marmite Mini Cheddars. Oh, you very good figure. Now, uh... Uh, what is weather? Oh, uh, the rain. Wow, is... that's a new thing. What is weather? The rain stopped there. It's clearing up. Cheers, uh, the clouds mate. are moving very quickly. Yeah, I think that's the bonus, isn't it? Mm. It's uh, kind of lucky like that. So, like I said, I hoped that we could get out, get out and about again. Uh, as I say, it will make for a much better show. Yeah. It's not bad. I've got to be honest. It's better than I thought it'd be. Okay. Uh, now that we've got the camera, I think, in the right place. But um, we can always be better, can't we? Good morning, Frank. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Frank. Great to have you in. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. I've got to be honest. Uh, here, I, I've always been a little bit. Oh, this spot. Yeah, for departures, it's you, you can still see them. It's not the worst in the world. Um, I'll it take it. Time. But I say, the, the reason why we're here today is because of the arrivals. It's, uh, it affords us the, the best view. We've got an EastJet there. And we yeah, have a Ryanair. It's a bit more bush cam than uh, 
the other spot, but I... uh, but it's but you get more of the arrivals. Well, exactly. You got you can like I've I always say this. People go, oh, it's the best spot, and I'm always like, there's no best spot. All of them have the positives and negatives. Um, you know, it's 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 getting that balance mm. right. You have to choose it for the actual day. So. Oh, what is recommendation now? So I love Marmite. Try the Marmite crisps. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. They're really good. I, I like them. Nice flavour, not too overpowering. So, yeah. I, it's weird that I just don't really... You know, I hate the actual thing itself that much. But then I still like the thing. Mm. Well, I was going to say, oh, we uh, we have good news about the buggy. Oh, yeah. Um, we So we've got the wheel back and the wheel fits perfectly. It does. Um, we've got it kind of all ready to go. All the um, all the batteries and everything charged for it. So tomorrow will be its inaugural. Woo! Yep. I think we're going to do um, we do a thumbnail tomorrow with the buggy and say it's its inaugural flight. So <laughs> yeah, looking forward to that. It's uh, it's much better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Brian and excited to crack on. Here's your weather like there then it stopped oh. it stops and there's like a little dribble in that yeah thing. I might wait for that little dribble to go and then change back over yeah Wonder how long it'll be before that one um, goes into maintenance and gets the upgrade with the uh, more fuel efficient mm-hmm. uh, scimitars. Oh, I'd see if you left aviation. Good morning. Good morning, sir. So no fantastic crosswind action at this morning. Um, it's great to see you on a Friday. It was, uh, mate. Really good to see you with your lad out. Um, enjoying it yeah absolutely proper dedicated plane spotter there proper spotter proper spotter and thank can i just say thank you for the likes on whatever we call it x or twitter nowadays last night do appreciate that um absolute legend if you don't already on the mighty youtube check out two three left aviation really good account got some amazing videos from manchester yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend there you go, you got a, you got a list recommendation there, mate. <laughs> hey, Chad, good morning. Good morning, great to have you in. Oh, uh, sorry, just to ask, you know, with the arrivals, yeah. you give me more of a heads up than normal, like yeah. quite a... Yeah. Like... Um... Ah, oh, the sound of rain. Oh, I think we're used to it on this channel, aren't we? If you've watched this channel, this is kind of par for the course. Oh, it's a bit, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's what we do. Sparky, good morning. Hey, great to have you in, mate. Uh, oh, nice day, no radio today. Just going to chill and uh, cook lamb and slow cook up for six hours. Oh, that sounds so good. We're, we're in a funny position today, aren't we? Because mm. uh, we're off to see... Uh, the world Han- of Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer tonight at the uh, Manchester Arena. So uh, I'm just going to warn you now, all my reels are going to have Hans Zimmer mu- uh, music in it for the next <laughs> like uh, two months after this, because I think it's going to be a very, very like good Like they gig. didn't already. I love Hans Zimmer. Really good music. Good morning, Hugh. Hey, Hugh, great to have you in, mate. It's rainy, it's windy, it's Manchester. <laughs> oh, by the way, love that photo that you had on uh, Instagram. Uh, I, I showed Liz, didn't I? Oh, yesterday. yeah, with the wheels. Sorry, yeah, with, not, the, with the alloys. Alloys, the alloys on that car was so good. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I like. I was like, well into that. I was like, I need you know alloys like that you in my life. showing me. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, fantastic to have you in, as always, mate. 
I noticed that Hugh uh, is like me, likes breaking his iPhones down and uh, replacing batteries like I do. Oh, wow, OK. Yeah, get in there. I just know he's like me in that green taste of lime and salted popcorn is best. There you go. Well, Pete, Pete, you know, if we follow you on, like, Twitter and stuff, I will pull out facts about you during the stream. Just want you to know that. <laughs> so, block us if you don't want that. <laughs> Oh, wow, David's found a hairbrush that someone's left in the bathrooms. <laughs> oh, wow. Lovely. Sell it on eBay, mate. Make a fortune. <laughs> David, what's the weirdest thing that's ever been left? There's my question for David for today. Oh, there you go. Hard-hitting journalism from Cyber. <laughs> yeah, Roy, good morning. AW, good morning. There's a lot coming out at the moment. Uh, Theo and Harry. Good morning. I don't know why you'd rather watch us than cartoons, but you know. I will take that. <laughs> Impeccable taste, some might say. Well, there's Carlos in the tree. And you can see the tent off to the left. That's not a vignette. That's the <laughs> tent. Uh, I'm not moving that anymore now. I'm quite happy where we got it. We're just going to have... Morning, Daniel. So. It's EasyJet now lining up. Going crazy on the windscreen wipers. That's uh, twos after Turin. And I'm just looking out to... Um, what is weather's uh, location and it does seem to be a little bit better down there cool. but hopefully we're going to get that Need to get to Reykjavik next hour just making sure all the connections in place because when we were um, coming into the uh, into the bivvy uh, the actual external monitor I used fell over didn't it it did I'm just making sure all the connections are good. They seem to be. The elastic bands come to save the day again. Oh yeah, we found the uh, the bag of elastic bands. It was touch and go for a while whether we still had uh, a packet. Carlos is watching morning. the uh, departures there. So I've got an Ease Jets uh, looking to be next out to Basel. And then we've got a Ryanair for Barcelona, a Ryanair for Prague, an Easy Jet to Gibraltar, yep. and uh, a Ryanair to Agadir Dudu. In a way, it's a shame those A330s didn't come in during this. Because mm. uh, imagine the spray they would rip up. However, we do have the Emirates A380 coming in. Yeah, we've uh, we heard that. Like, so it was New Jersey, wasn't it? And uh, um, but yeah, I'm mad that you fell it as well. Um, yeah, the I Earth did learn there was a fault line there. There's micro faults everywhere, though, isn't there? Effectively, mm. you know, uh, we have them. But yeah, I've seen a couple of clips. You know, people that were just like making videos at the time, and then they were like, "Was that just an earthquake?" Times Square one was cool. I've not seen that one. Yeah, it's everyone kind of. 
Um, freaks out a bit. Yeah, crazy. Well, glad to see it wasn't anything serious. Absolutely. Plus all the uh, the people that are thinking that this uh, solar eclipse on when is it tomorrow? Yes. So, so. Uh, because of the path that it's like a direct cross with the one that happened whenever it was and. I don't know. Get your tinfoil hats things, out, people. All these things are happening in the path. They know oh, oh, the world's going to end or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he was bought five coffees. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for your, uh, for your support on. once again. Yes, saying, um, lol, it's you. Uh, today's <laughs> contribution uh, is more for you guys. Oh, well, thank um, you, mate. Being in the storm. Uh, Oh, hang on. There's, there's more to it. Hang on. Let me just... Where was I? You can't read here, I, honestly. I, I didn't realise there was more to click on it. Uh, get you to watch during today. <laughs> I thought, do you know what? Oh. Right. Well, I, just give me a sec. Just just right. Lol, like it's you. Today's contribution is more for you guys being in the storm. Get, uh, get to watch you guys stay while I'm editing some photos. Ooh. As always, expecting some spray action as usual. Over here in the States, we got some severe weather as well, but not as bad as you guys. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you, mate. Um, Sorry that I read it like I'm a five year old. Is the world going to end then? Are we saying that it is? Like, you know that film 2012 where it had the world ending? Were they just 12 years out? <laughs> Oh. oh, that's getting windier. I know, the tent keeps hitting the back of my head. Oh, well. Yeah, only for the finals. I'm really, I'm really hoping for summer. No. Damn. Because this would be fun now. After the F1, we're hoping for some sporty go arounds. Well, fingers crossed the rain stays away for you. I know that's our focus. Uh, Debbie, good morning. Right, right there. It's Max, it's lined up. Good morning. And uh, looks uh, pretty grassy there. <laughs> Thanks for taking one um, for the team there. Well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Yeah. You don't mess around in this channel. Uh, Kyle, good morning. From Fort Worth, Texas. Great to have that you in. Be... Oh, yeah. yeah, I have a special affinity there. So, yeah, yeah, okay, it's, it's yeah. late. Saying that, Sarah's here as well. Saying that, I'm used to Sarah being up at all hours. <laughs> it's Sarah o'clock, it's she and you o'clock. <laughs> well, absolutely, honestly, I do say this quite often, but uh, it's amazing how many from people from the United States and, of course, over on the opposite side of the world from New Zealand who stay with us uh, with the stream at silly time. So, uh, we do appreciate that support. I think the cell at the end of the runway is quite bad. Mm. Uh, that's why we're having to... Um, wait a little bit. We're having a little bit of uh, wait between each departure and then waiting for the cells to uh, move over. Yeah. Uh, morning, Jeff. Hi, oh, yeah, Sarah just said about that earthquake. said uh, apparently it was the worst in 22 years. Wow. I suppose it's like they're just... They are due sometimes, them things, aren't they? <laughs> well, they're, they're saying that the one in LA and, you know, the San Andreas, uh, San Andreas yeah. is overdue, isn't it, aren't they? Oh, 
morning, Kirsty. Thanks for popping in. Um, enjoy that coffee and uh, enjoy the Lurkers Lounge this morning. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for uh, popping in. Do appreciate it. Oh, oh, there. Yes. So if you look in now, that's actually going off to the left. So it's going south straight away. There's obviously a cell at the back yeah. at the end of the runway where they just do not want those planes going through. Mm. So um, that's what was happening there. Good morning, Jeff. Can't remember if I just said good morning to you or not, but I think we're going to have this for a lot longer than we think. You know, maybe. Can I have uh, an update on the arrivals? That's that's what I'm really keen on at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there is a Ryanair coming over from Ireland. That's uh, just like like not too far away. Yep. Uh, let me just go on my phone. It's easier to see. And it updates. Uh, yeah, so that's um, nearly at Wigan. Ryanair, Ryanair, Ryanair. Heinen. That's, uh, that's really late today. Yeah, um, just pretty much south of Leeds. Okay, bit of three thirty action. That'll be tasty. Passing over EMA Gulf Air. Cool. So we will be getting them. Etihad should be Virgin Atlantic from Atlanta, just uh, north, like North Wales. Like, okay. But not North Wales, but like over the sea, but North Wales, if that well, makes sense. Could, <laughs> well, we've got enough to keep us going. That'll, those ones are going to be a bit sporty, I won't lie. I think we're going to have this weather for another at least five, ten minutes. Well, uh, let's see how they do. Easy jet to Gibraltar. Dave's saying um, things are left behind at Glenroy Lodge, uh, including the usual collection uh, of underwear and soap dishes, uh, then some more unusual items, uh, including hearing aids, a printer, whiteboards, lectins, and a data recorder. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was thinking more like, was there any like, hair, more hairbrushes or <laughs> mirrors or something, but... Uh, I wasn't expecting a printer. <laughs> no rubber dolls or anything? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I'm, I'm just going to say it. Oh, dear me. Uh, Steve, good morning. Sheila, good morning. All right. Right out, lined up. And people, if you're at home with a nice brew, oh, enjoy yeah. it. Get some, get some breakfast on. Yeah. And just chill, because as I say, um, you don't want to be out in this today. No. It's not particularly great. Right now, so I could do. David's fan left. Um, a tray full of pancakes in the oven. Okay. Um, on one occasion, and a tray full of oven chips on another. Um, 18 packs, that's very specific, 18 packs of bagels. Um, where was I? Uh, and 35, 10 packs of uh, freezer pops, frozen drinks. Wow. They really didn't want the frozen freezer pop drink things. That's special. <laughs> well, why? But, 
Tony, good morning. I'm on the way to a plate of football. Uh, catch as much as I can on the stream. No, well, it's on the way. Well, enjoy football. Hopefully, it's not raining like this for you. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, it dries up a bit. So that won't be fun. It's, uh, I remember, you remember like playing football, you know, when you were a kid back in the day, you know, on them cold days where the wind's mm. driving in sideways and it's just stinging on you. Oh, not great. Right. Neo's now going out. You can actually hear it's getting heavier. As crazy as that may, may sound. Good morning. So uh, nice morning in North East Aberdeenshire. Come on, focus. Okay. Well, it looks like they're taking the usual uh, part of the headings now. Morning, Harry. Yeah, the, the other. I, I was looking at the uh, one of the uh, videos in that office did, and uh, they did say that it was a tale of east and west. This storm. It's all over the place, isn't it? This one. Well, not the east though. The east, like yesterday, it was meant to be like twenty-two degrees. At degrees. It was. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's been a weird old storm, hasn't it? Mm. So have they put these planes into a hold, the ones that are arriving, or they just look like they're going to be coming on straight away? No, the uh, Ryanair looks to be turning on to finals. Excellent. Sometimes when the condition's like this, they may put uh, restrictions in place. But uh, they seem to be quite happy coming in, which is always good news for us. The visibility is still bad down at the bottom of the uh, airfield. Good morning, Pete. Ah, we have two you now lined up, ready to go. Hopefully, we should get a Ryanair. Mm. Tony saying the weather at Heathrow apparently is much better than what we're getting at the moment. Which which way are we looking at better? Is it nicer or I mean it's more sportier? <laughs> so there's two ways I'm taking that one. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, yeah the thing I know is about Heathrow is and I, I am I won't lie, I'm immensely jealous. It's like usually they have the winds not so much with the rain. Whereas Manchester, yeah. we tend to have the wind and the rain at the same time, Indeed. which, you know, it uh, makes it a little bit kind of more difficult to deal with. Like, one on their own, you, you can kind of deal with. When it's two, it's like, oh, no. It does make it a lot... makes it a real pain in the proverbial, if you know what I mean. Hi, Clarissa, good morning. Said uh, good morning if you're near the sub off. Uh, drones and planes, good morning. I'm gonna stick the camera there for when that thing comes out. I can't see it, so there it is. 
Well, looks like we've got an easier. Let's just go into the uh, naughty step. I'm not going to leave my camera there for that long because it is absolutely chucking it down there. Right, just give his heads up when that uh, Ryanair gets close. Yeah, it's um, nearly at Stockport. Where? Stockport. Okay, cool. Uh, we do have Jet 2 737 and Ryanair 737 now crossing over runway 23 right. Matt, don't have to rub it in. Oh, we have to move seats because the sunshine is gonna gonna come in and go onto you, your screen. Matt, <laughs> haven't you got a snack to make? <laughs> make yourself useful. Miss, oh. Mrs. C needs uh, a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, Valerie, good morning. East Airlines, oh, good morning. We're in Las Vegas. Vegas, baby. Oh, we have a seven five seven coming out. Can't wait till we get a va the Vegas route. Oh, it's Vegas, gonna, baby! It's gonna be Vegas, baby, all the <laughs> time. Every time it Every all happens. Get scene. ready for that. Yeah, prepare yourselves. I am that annoying. I will do <laughs> that, and I will take great joy out of it as well. Uh, Dennis, good morning. So you watching for not so sunny Gorton. Wow, Manchester. it's uh, it's not great over there. I've got to be honest. Mm. Um, I'm just looking over in that direction, and it looks it looks like it's absolutely. Chucking it down. Oh, wow. Shout out to the uh, Gorton Massive. <laughs> uh, Heathrow was broken cloud. Um, and the winds have calmed down from last night. Okay. Uh, so nicer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right now, I'm guessing, Mike. It's Cheadle. Yeah, let's see if we can. Get that? Probably not. Watch this. It'll, the, the, oh yeah, no, no, there it is. Right, I'm I'm going to go over there in a moment, uh, just because the, the the bit of camera's out in the middle. Yeah. Uh, morning, Amanda. Point Lisbon at eleven from there. It's going to be fun. I'll. Uh, probably shouldn't be too bad taking off, and it doesn't take long to kind of get up and uh, you can see the Ryan area. Um, I, I can, I just don't want to stick the camera oh, out there, okay. if you get me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you'll be through the cloud into the sunshine. There you go. But have a great flight. Should catch you. And you can literally just see the lights on that because the, the rain is so heavy down there. Uh, you can see this. What you can see, thanks to the lights, uh, is that this has been thrown around. This looks like hell to fly, to be honest. Pilot's doing a really good job, I must say that. Just slam it on there. That's a batter my sausage all day long. Full fair dream liner from Bahrain to so Stockport, be a couple of minutes for them to come in. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, good morning. Oh, Matt's saying um, I'd get a no thanks making me to see a coffee now. Eight o'clock is the uh, appointed wake up time. Like my mum, that Matt, <laughs> Matt, wake her up early and just go, I love you, <laughs> and just walk out. Uh, hey, yeah. if you want the coffee all over you, <laughs> all right, Jet 2 737 now on the roll. Yeah, uh, yeah, Harry, I don't envy Laura at the moment. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to see that rotation. We'll go on to the next departure, which is the Ryanair. And nice. that'll be closely followed by the Jet 2 757. See you later, Debbie. Have a good day at work. 
Yep, take care and thank you for joining us. For an insect next time, though. <laughs> uh, you should be seeing the uh, gold fire soon. Yep, it is just behind that bush. There we go. Paul H, good morning. Let's see how it does. Looks very stable, I must say that. I can't say the Dreamliners look super stable today. But even the A330s, which we all know is the butt machines, are uh, uh, struggling a bit. But well, Heinen uh, A330s on finals, so we'll test that theory out. We will. This thing just looks. That is just like one of the best landings I've ever seen. Wow, Gulf Air left six hours and 48 minutes ago. I mean, I can tell, I can tell you now it is windy out there. Mm. Flight time of 11 hours and 5 minutes. So the uh, easy jet that was on the naughty step is now coming on the runway in front of us. wonder if they see us and go, what the hell are they doing? Surely most people know. I'm surprised it's just not like a... A no tam out for like, don't worry if you see a tent or a gazebo, it's just think planes. gallons of water is that dispersing there? Uh, yeah, yeah during the plane, just have a look, so we've got obviously this uh, band of rain and then there's a little break and then there's another heavy bit and then it looks, fingers crossed, like it'll be dry after that. Yeah, and when that happens we'll be able to get better departures because the camera will be elevated, uh, which will be so much more helpful. Um, looks like this 7.5 came on via Vitz Alpha. Kind uh, of passing Cheetor. Sorry, 7.5. It's all about the arrivals today. Uh, for good measure, though, the 757 is going to be far away. Um, it is starting to clear up coming in from the, uh, the west. Uh, hopefully this dissipates. But with that second squall that we're, we're due to get, uh, I'm just going to be conservative with that. And we'll uh, pop outside the tent after that one passes. Uh, Dan Meyer with a £10 super chat saying uh, thank you for getting up so early on a Sunday and streaming in this weather. Oh, it's our pleasure. Uh, we love doing it. Uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you for that very kind donation. Do appreciate it. Yep, see this uh, Highlands uh, just struggling a little bit more but still pretty decent, I will say that. Coming into the flare. Oh, that's another good landing there from the Heinen. Got the biscuit? I think so. I 
any uh, bit passive on the uh, reverses there. Station Atlantic from Atlanta now on finals. It's A330. Right, let's go on the pencil. John, boom! You can do it. I believe in you. That's just got heavier. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not going, oh yeah, I think it's going to work. Um, it's going to clear up. It's going to clear up in a minute. We'll put, yeah, no. Uh, that Highland came in at the right time because um, it came in now. It'd be all over the show. Wowzers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got rain coming in. Exactly. Uh, well, good luck, Virgin Atlantic. He's just at Stockport. <laughs> yeah, hopefully after this, I want no more storms. I want no more rain. I don't care if it's sunny. As long as it's dry. I just want it to be dry. Yeah, I agree. I think I said it uh, on another show. It's like, I, like, storm season, you had a good one. Just need to move on now. I know. Bring on the nice weather. I'm, ha I'm happy to embrace you uh, later in the year. Yeah, once we've had some like nice 30 degree days or something. Yeah, 100%. That's what I'm here for. And Virgin's at Cheadle. Right, let's have a look. Oh, you're not seeing it say, down yeah, there. No, I saw a live stream yesterday from uh, Blackpool, obviously, of like, the waves and stuff. Uh, it looked pretty cruel. Well, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, it was just like the sea and then I saw it again a few hours later I was like oh that's pretty blustery uh, Etihad 777 from Abu Dhabi just turning on to finals uh, whilst I would love to stay on that let's just focus on that little dot <laughs> of light and there we go that's where we're on yeah Paul you look behind him as well it looks really good And slowly coming into uh, view there. For a torrential rain. Let's see how the version does. Yeah, get out of the way right now. Oh, easy jet, I should say. Into the flare. Still not down. I had a couple of feels of that one, didn't they? <laughs> uh, got it down, and then they, you can see the correction of the rudder. Oh, spray time. Get them emotes in the chat, because that's epic. Oh, wowzers. Look at that. Oh, that's the best ever. And it just calms down very quickly, but wowzers. <laughs> Bring on the spray. All right. Uh, Rob, good morning. And, uh, Robert, good morning. So I'm new to your channel. Uh, so committed. You're willing... Uh, uh, sorry, you're so committed and brilliant at what you're doing. Uh, thank you. Uh, the wife is on the flight to Italy tomorrow at 8.30. Well, should we should be that. around. Unless we get blown away or swept Hands away. Hands in the uh, mugs us. <laughs> Possibility. on that engine. Let's get up to Antalya. Oh, that's up early for an Antalya, that one.
some lovely clear clouds out. It's about to come over us. So it's still absolutely bucketing down. Let's get that. That's a lovely day. <laughs> Alright, see how it's cheered up. Where's that? Cheered up. Cheered up. Cool, we'll go down and get that. Think they might just have it slightly easier. Having said that, they might be right on the cusp of the storm where they're touching down, so let's just uh, see. Right now, going, but let's be honest, we don't care. Alright, off to Brind Easy. So it's triple seven three hundred. You can't tell yet. <laughs> A break in the rain and then some more rain. <laughs> oh, it's changed again. There's more rain now. Right, let's see how they do. Good job there. I think they've buttered it. I think they have, you know, Liz. Impressive but that. Good job. They're doing a fantastic job today. I think you'll all agree. You haven't had one moment, really, have we, down at the bottom end? We haven't. Uh, you've earned your breakfast. <laughs> That's all I'll say. You've earned your sleep. I think I actually know the captain on the way out. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone. Um... He treated me to a very expensive whiskey one time. Oh, okay. Jet 2737 next time to Malta. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Look forward to the uh, clear skies heading over from Merseyside. Yeah, it's uh, looking good. Uh, side ops just having a right look at us there. They're like, what? Uh, are you mental? Uh, we've got uh, a couple of oiling misses on the way. One's a prop. Um, Belfast and Dublin, we've got Ryanair coming up from Rome. Uh, about 10 minutes for those. Where's the beast? Uh, Emirates A380, down south. So, where, where is that? Why are you just crossing over? Crossing uh, over the top of Stansted. Excellent. Another airport in the uh, MAG group. Tell you what, I just had a look at the weather for the rest of the week and it's like 15, 16 degrees. It's positively tropical. It's tropical. I mean, I won't lie, I've, I've lost a couple of layers today um, just because it isn't as cold. Oh, My no. hands are a bit cold, but, you know, I can't have it all. <laughs> yeah, I'm laid up still, to be honest. And I'm still wearing a scarf. I've still got my hoods up. Plural. <laughs> So, have a few more departures in a moment. It does seem to be calming down a little bit. I'm just going to uh, have what a What is it? Because uh, Etty, it's because they know that you're here. And Every you... time, isn't it? It's <laughs> like, if, like, if what is this is about, you know it's always going to be the, uh, the best livery.
Oh, so I've got an easy jack. I'm going to be going out for Lanzarote. Two are behind them for Toulouse. Excellent. And I've got a jet to, to Geneva. And a Ryanair to Berlin. Oh, no, I've got rain now, periodically now, to nine, past nine o'clock. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it changed. So. Yeah. Yay. Tinday. Again. Oh. And because everyone knows as well, I, I will have to see how my back is tomorrow. Mm, two days of the tent. Yeah, it's... Um, it's not great for me, to be honest. Um, so we will keep you up and for. I have to see how I am at the end, but as I say, yes. you know, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. It is a, well, it is a dodgy position. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I think should you know? What? I should get. Um, I should get like a little video of it, and I can put it in the. Uh, I can post it. Yeah. Um, I think I'll be able to post it to. To the tube of you, or Facebook in the group. Uh, 0.5 zoom. <laughs> oh wow! But, uh, yeah, I'll press that because like, you can you can kind of see like you're in a very crouched, awkward position that it would you know it would cause pain for just a normal person just doing that for a few hours. So yeah. So we'll we'll just have to see. But yeah. I, I I always like giving people warning and stuff like that. I don't like going oh and then literally the last minute doing a cancel kind of thing. I, that really irritates me because sometimes people make plans as well. So. You know, we've already had one person who said, are you, you know, effectively streaming tomorrow? And it's like, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So, and, yeah, well, actually, do you know what? As you said that, the rain has just... Stopped. I'm going to say paused because it is due again. <laughs> I've just parked everyone on uh, remotes this morning. There has been a lot of rainfall, but I've I've always liked the uh, the Tui um, livery. I was, it's like when we were saying the other day about the the advert, the the music on their adverts. It's kind of it's not jarring. It's just, and it's like obviously it's like waves and it's nice calming blue colours, and I just quite like it. It just feels mellow. Very. Um, I find them a bit of a pain to edit, but that's, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I struggle with the blue. The, the blue I struggle just with pop- the red. With no, the blue. The, uh, the blue, yeah, it just pops in a weird way, to be honest. I don't know why. Like, if I stick any like contrast or any vibrancy, it just goes weird on me. Mm. I always struggled with it. Uh, Ryan up from Rome now in the finals. Good morning, Ian. Good morning. Great to have you in, mate. Right. Do you have another 7.5 crossing over? Of course I do. So if you are here for the 7.5s, it's all good. We're uh, going to be going to Alicante. Very. I bet Dean wishes he went to Alicante on a 757. Ouch, that wouldn't hurt that. (laughs) 
Oh, Paul, yeah, we were talking about that the other day. The uh, well, between Jet and on the beach, like the worst jingles, yes. watch songs. Oh, I haven't, you know, I haven't heard that for a bit. I've heard a lot of Jet too, but um, the on the beach, I think they've they've got people in now. Um, you know, with their deal of free lounge access. Although I don't know, did anyone else notice? It? Obviously, this is very UK based, but last year when they started this whole like, oh, if you book a four or five star holiday, you'll get free lounge access. I've seen your your way out. This year it's only five star holiday, so clearly it went down a storm. Oh, it did. Um, it did. That they had to uh, up it to just the five star ones. Also it makes them get more money. They may. Have, they may. You may as well just pay for a four star and just buy lounge access. It's probably cheaper. <laughs> Maybe it was a plan from the start. Hook it get them, you know, hook them and uh, reel it in. Well, exactly. Uh, where's that rhino? Uh, Cheadle. Cheadle, okay. Um, I don't see what's wrong with grabbing a coffee from Costa or Starbucks or whatever, you know, depending on which terminal you're in, and uh, getting a meal deal. Well, the, lo- the lounges are as busy as the uh, well that's it isn't it thing now that is just I, I'd want to go to a lounge to chill and it'd be really quiet and away from the hustle and bustle and you know I wouldn't want it to be as busy like it, it would kind of take away from it for me well we had an interesting one this week didn't we because Virgin Atlantic have now confirmed that they are not going to have a clubhouse at Manchester mm. and for, um the information we're getting, and I think it was uh, let's, let's give credit to uh, SPD Travels, uh, who who put it up there, saying there's a, it looks like an alliance is going to take over. Okay. Um, so it's a case of who, and it was like it's an interesting one because Star Alliance have a massive thing. I'm just going to stay on this arrival. So you can yes. understand. I know it's seven five, but it's live. We'll get over it. Um, we'll discuss that once this one arrives. Not going all over the show there, and Jet Two gets right in the way of the touchdown. Cheers, guys! Oh, a few corrections there on landing, but uh, it's down. All good. But yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see who, who takes it. You know, Starlines has the biggest footfall here at Manchester, but I mean, I I don't know. But Are they going to go with uh, what's the um, thing that? Uh, like a Sky team. Well, that's what I was about to okay. jump onto. You know, Virgin had first dibs on that. They are now in Sky team. You know, um, would is that going to be? Is that are they going to uh, take take that up and run with it? I don't know. To be honest, mm. it, it will be interesting. You know, of course, we've still got a big One World presence here at Manchester. Oh well, yeah, exactly. So sure, it's. Uh, uh, I mean, the thing is, I can, I can understand it from Virgin's point of view because unless you know, I would say unless you're um, opening that lounge up for everyone to be able to buy into, like to go in, you know, be it from other airlines or be it from other passengers, they're just. I don't think there's enough people. F- that, you know, it warrants it at Heathrow because there's so many flights, but I just don't think there is here, and that's a lot of like infrastructure and staff and stuff are just well i i also think after what happened during covid that they, they are still um in this thing of you know they, they had this plan where they they were going to have routes where they just literally mm. operate for profit and you know that that is their that is their thing they have to they have to stay solvent so um Effectively, they could they could make a loss, couldn't they? Yes. If they did that here at Manchester, but Jet doing it as a Sky Team does make more sense. I've right, got Ellen to Cheadle, by the way. A three twenty coming in from Dublin. Uh, right, good morning. Thank you for popping in. Dropping a like, uh, appreciate it. Do you uh, totally understand watching the F1? Oh, yeah, uh, totally I'm surprised how many people are watching considering that's on. Uh, well, we appreciate it, we do, but um, 
Barney morning. But yeah, go. But yeah, it'll be an interesting one to see what happens with that one. Um, I say I think it makes sense for a Sky team. Yeah, nearly a uh, hill green that early. Cool. <sighs> Jump on that. see them with that crab, ang uh, crab angle on they are aimed towards us at the moment oh no worries Robert um, I, I, I do try and make a point of reading as much as I can out um, I can't see anything else that's going on around there so the least I can do is keep an eye on the chat um, but do you know what your, that, your comment reminds me of um it's one of our mods, Joe. See how this airling is done? Probably had a lot of practice yesterday. Oh. Yeah, that had a couple of moments there. But got it down nicely. That was a very gentle landing as well, I think. Oh, I've got a prop in next. Oh, we love a prop, don't we, in these <laughs> conditions? Um... But yeah, no, it just reminds me of uh, Joe, that comment. Um, I know he uh, came into ours and he was just like, Liz read my message out and I was welcomed in. And I do try, I do try. There, there is a lot of stuff that I miss. And I always say, put it in again if you want me to see it. That's, uh... I'm doing quite well this morning, I do think, because the... Uh, the F1's on. There's a lot of lurkers this morning, which is making my life a lot easier. Excellent. Well, easy drive to Geneva. Good morning, Paula. Oh, don't worry, Paula, you deserve a lion. Oh, you do, Paula, and thank you for the lovely cake and coffee. I was raving about it on the way home. <laughs> yeah, parking for the win. It was great. Do you know what? Even though I didn't have like that much, it, it filled me up nicely till uh, I right, had two my, slices. Uh, I loved every slice. <laughs> there you go. Uh, props at Cheadle. Excellent. Let's go down onto that. That's the art, 72. And what are you turning on to finals? Chewy coming in from Birmingham. It's a 737 Max 8. That will be relatively light. See how they do. But every time we say that, we always yeah, go, oh, decent. It's going to be it's going to be a bit of a tricky landing. That one. Two, they just absolutely butter it every time. So let's go. Let's turn around and say, oh, they're going to absolutely butter it. Yeah. That's how um, happens. Yeah, Paul. Exactly. It's uh, it is more expensive. Well, a lot. Everything's more expensive now, isn't it? But. Um, yeah, just with the lounge thing. Like, yeah, I, I kind of totally understand it, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some unhappy chaps. Uh, there were in, like, 2008, 2009, so I'm sure there probably still will be in 2024. Exactly. Love because it. a proper lounge at Heathrow, you know, I'm like, mm, you can afford to fly this, you can probably afford to get to London. Yeah. Sorry, Liz. <laughs> uh, this one's been thrown around like an Amazon package. <laughs> oh, Wow. Um, Laura was telling us there were a lot of cancellations yesterday. Mm. Logan Air. Uh, we're missing a couple today. Um, also missing a Nige, aren't we? We are. It's been cancelled. Can't deal with the pressure of us and Jerry. <laughs> All right, let's see how this at our does. wave there thanks for that <laughs> and the Atar's doing alright you know load of little corrections uh, on touchdown but I tell you what bought the biscuit you just have to admit when people bought the biscuit and, uh, they did there uh, the easy jet that's been on the naughty step is now starting up you might be able to hear that in the background yep we're going to be going to uh, Lanzarote uh, Terry just approach and stop what? Uh, got an A321 Jet 2 coming out. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a Pilatus coming out. Oh, uh, GJ Robbins with $3 super sticker. Oh, well, thank you a, very much. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to show it towards Simon whenever he looks at it. It's like a smiley foxy face or a cat face. It's one of the two, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's definitely smiley and happy. So we like smiley and happy. And you can see the windsock. Uh, I wouldn't there. say it's 15, you know. I've oh. got to be honest. I would say it's like a, a 10 to 12 constant. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for that. With the little smiley cat fox face. <laughs> yeah, I've got confused by that one before. I okay. Need to, I need to do my research on that one. If anyone knows in the chat, please let me know. Oh, Ian, uh, thank you so much gifting five memberships. Oh, Ian, after your week, mate, I don't know who you're affording. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to turn around and go, I really don't mind, because that would be an absolute lie. I'm really <laughs> appreciative of it, but um, wowzers, mate. After, you must <laughs> you must be stung this week, <laughs> sending our sympathies, but I mean, oh, you know. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I was just about to say, as uh, Ian put further up... Uh, subscribe uh, and enable gifts exactly yeah um, uh, we're very very lucky to have some very very kind people who uh, donate the gifted membership so we uh, you know we really do appreciate their amazing support because it helps us as a channel but also helps you interact with the chat as well so yes. thank you to every single one of them the people who do that all right there's the pilatus just a bit concerned that mine's not uh sort of showing me allow gifts and i'm hoping it's not just randomly you know turned it on because i don't want to i do not want one i think you once you're once you're in them one you have to be in on all of them all right, we'll have to so two is passing cheadle uh okay we're gonna get this quickly oh yeah that didn't disappoint that was a very early rotation and you can see a bit of a wing wave there Right, but let's get to the Tui, because this one could be a bit sporty. There it is, end of the uh, airfield. Uh, doing well so far, I must say, though. Oh, there he goes. Just tips that wing down, though. You know, every gust is going to be magnified on the plane that's this light. Well, they're doing very well so far. Oh, no, there we go. That got hit heavily there. Pull back a little bit there, get into the flare. There we go. Oh, that's a bit sporty. Come on, get it down. Good job. Oh, that was nerve wracking for me, never mind what was happening on that flight deck. <laughs> I think they did a really good job there because that plane, we know how light it is. Yes. Um, and it, it just looked like, <laughs> well, it just got absolutely hit so hard there so great job by the crew there on the Tui. well done Tui. uh pete's been a member for three months three month crew hey, way. so thanks so much pete thank you for the continued support yes buddy uh, up morning chris good morning sir great to have you in uh, morning Janie. Uh, jamie uh, all in god good morning all right I'm going to go on to the next part chat. I'm going to be too zoomed in. I know this already. There you go. Oh, I won't lie. That worked out better than I thought. Oh, Paul H, thank you. The uh, three pound super chat saying oh. a little something for you. Awesome duo. Oh, well, thank you so much, thank Paul. We so do much. appreciate it. Absolute legend. Oh, Emirates A380 turning on to the finals. Excellent. Um, A380 with a bit of uh, wind action. Yeah. Yes, please. 
I won't say no to that. The Sierra Papa with a ten pound super chat. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you for that. Really do appreciate that. Everyone just so generous. So thank you for that. Do appreciate it. And uh, Mike D, you've been a member for eleven months. Eleven month crew. By the way. If you're not used to the channel and stuff like that, I do that for everyone who does. Yes, the and uh, just uh, use the message to say, hi, think. I'm, Australian. I'm assuming it's also not think, uh, what is H dot. Uh, and Roy, uh, that'll be Debbie. Um, just legends. Just listening and legends. Super 80. Uh, uh, Dean's in there as well. Chris is in there. I'm loving the abbreviations of everyone, and I love that I managed to figure out who everyone was in that. Love that. Uh, thank you so much. But thank you for your renewal. We really do appreciate it. I, 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 I really like them. I know that some people aren't that keen on them in regards to the thing, but uh, the mem- memberships, I think, I, and I keep say, harking on about this, are the things that tick a tap channel over. Um, you know, it helps us. You know, we we know roughly what we're going to be coming out with and stuff like that before we start. So we have a base thing, you know, where you can look at spending stuff. So, uh, uh, whenever someone uh, has a milestone, I do like mm. to make a little fuss over it. Yeah, that's why um, I, I don't think I did see that one. What you know? Um, I think it's when Simon came on potentially. Did you see the Emirates uh, Hebrew yesterday? Floated all the way uh, down the runway and I'd still go around. A little bit of fun like that, a little bit of sporty action. This is off to Glasgow. Off, off to, to see Jim. Jim. <laughs> PC12. It's, uh, it's, it's got all Jim's ciders on it. Woohoo! <laughs> Surprised it rotated there. Knowing that. I won't lie, I so wish I recorded that. That was amazing, that takeoff. Jim, Hugh. your ciders are on your way to your lad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hugh, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Oh, what a ledge. What an absolute ledge. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Well, you have been gifted one of the uh, recently gifted memberships and you in the chat. Please do say thank you. Absolutely. Emirates nearly at Stockport now. Hopefully we just get this easy jet going and then uh, we can jump onto the mighty Emiratus A380. Like a planage. <laughs> I'm being really optimistic here, but you never know. <laughs> He's waving, by the way. <laughs> I am. If they can spot us from here, I'd be surprised. Because we will be against the uh, the canopy in the background. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Oh, wow, the light! Light, you've just blown. The- the highlights <laughs> sunshine right where's the Emirates uh, just a stop port cool uh, hopefully we can get this because there's some lovely light on it look at that that's spectacular I did just get a uh, meant, uh, what's the word a uh, notification saying uh, light rain soon oh <laughs> uh, yeah exactly so uh, let's let's take advantage of it whilst we have it because yeah I can actually see some rain coming in now so Emiratus take off lights just put on so this one's going to be rolling any second now yep starting to move Once this hits the bushes, we're going to go down to the other end to get the Emirates, because that should be around Cheadle by now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it did rotate there. That was nice of it. Right, let's get the Emirates. We know what time it is. We're going to get some epic spray off this as well, I think. Beast from the east. There it is. There's a bush with its two fingers up towards me. It's taken seven hours and seven minutes to get here from Dubai today. It just needs to get past, past that bush before I can focus on it because that bush is quite annoying. There we go. Wow. 
I think it always looks so cool, you know, when it just looks like it's aiming at you, which mm-hmm. it literally is right now. Um, I think they'll take the crab angle off this one quite late. Do you like to do that with the Emirates? Well, sorry, with the A380, not just the Emirates. Some lovely light on that now. But it looks nice and stable so far. Let's see if that stays the same. Yeah, getting a hit a little bit there. Left wing dropping a bit. But, let's be honest. Oh, but that's a decent landing, that. And look at the spray. That is bonkers. Oh. You know what? I didn't know what I was doing there. I apologise. I was like, do I pan the easy jet or do I stay on the Emirates? And I made an in-between decision there. That's why it was such a rough transition, so apologies for that. That is totally my fault. Right, Emirates is... Uh, that departure is the easy jet to Alicante. There we go. Uh, right, where was I in the chat? Um, oh, well, thank you, Paul. Do appreciate it. Absolutely. So Louise, good morning, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday again, I don't know where the weeks go. It goes, goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then Saturday and then it's Sunday again. <laughs> Daryl saying we'll need a suntan lotion. I, th- I think we're, I think a cloud's come, I think we're alright. Yeah, uh, I'm not Phew. getting my nose bleed yet. Uh, Nigel on finals from uh, Landon Heathrow. Cool. Right. B8. Uh, oh, I saw Matt before I actually said, oh, it's this one, isn't it? Uh, this is going to be Matt's flight in three weeks. Okay. Hopefully, uh, we'll it's not be more here. on time than this. Well, yeah, I think we won't be here. I think we'll just confirm that now. <laughs> oh, the time, 747. Excellent. <laughs> how moody those clouds look just up above it there not looking too clever I love a moody cloud me Let's see if there's any planes down uh, about to uh, turn on can't see any I can hear something down there though uh, let's say East Jack going to be going out to Innsbruck. All right, that flight. Strudel flight. And uh, Nigel just at uh, Cheadle now. Okay, go down and get Nigel. It has just calmed down a little bit. But as you all know, the calm before the storm. Right, I'm just going to leave the camera there because I just don't want to get that annoying branch and it's doing my head in. 
Oh, we've got some spilling up. Well, we'll get that for a minute. Hopefully we'll still get the, uh, the nitch. Well, we will do. Is that? Well, Nigel, that looks like he's having a day out in the park there. Eh? No <laughs> issues whatsoever. It's like going, yeah, what's all this wind about? He throws well harder. I was like, there's no wind whatsoever. <coughs> Uh, not as of yet, Oliver. What a beaut that was. Shall I just hike tripe it up? Yeah, it's been we... 20 go arounds. <laughs> Will we get a go around soon? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the quietest rival ever. <laughs> Fairly air that. Oh. Yeah, wind has dropped a little bit there. Yeah, Swiss eighty twenty from Zurich just on finals now. No, oh, starting to rain again though. No, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Paul, the uh, the mints are doing well. Oh, it kind of got me a little bit that time, but uh... we uh, potentially found like a not a cure, but a solution to my uh, tickly throat from my allergies the other day, which was mints. <laughs> And Suzanne's been a member for 15 months. 15 month crew! And, uh, had a great 15 munch. Munch? Munch. 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 You said you're having a 15 month munch. That is an in. <laughs> months watching your stream. <laughs> I, I, I'm here for that. Oh dear, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm bankrupt and all you can eat. Buffet that. <laughs> And see the the derriere of the A380. Derriere. <laughs> oh, bong bing. Bong de la bing. Here he is. We just sent you a um, PC12 up with some supplies, lad. <laughs> it's probably nearly there at this point. Oh, it's a Pilates PC12, I don't think so. It's over Bradford. Oh, no, that's not it. That's just another little plane. Oh, squelchy, squelchy. I'd say it'd be up towards Lancaster. It's not where it's gone. I've lost it. Just lost it, everyone. <laughs> <sighs> I can't get the staff nowadays. I can't. know. <laughs> Fair old trek for the A380 to get onto stand today, feels like. It's... Uh... Usually I feel it gets on there and literally... Oh, that's the one that's just past Bradford. I do apologise. There's that. There you go. I'm just going to look what the weather's saying. Because it's going dark. Yeah. <laughs> Never a good sign, that. Uh, yeah. Uh... Rain starting in eight minutes. I think it's going to start in less than that. Mm. Can I have a coffee, please? Yeah. Uh, 
be able to see the uh, Swiss in a minute. It's past cheered up. Cool. I just don't want to see that bush, bush again, so I'm waiting for it just to get a little bit past cheered on there. Um, hopefully, we should. Yes, that's it. It's like that's a well insulated back, that. Oi! Oh yeah, it's just one more week now to the Manchester Marathon where you're going to hear me complain a lot. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm doing a countdown. Oh, wow. I, I think I mentioned it on Friday. Countdown to a rant. Um, yep, can't wait. Uh. The th <laughs> thing is, what I'll do is I'll, I will we'll go up near my house and I'll just show you, I'll do a little video of the, the actual carnage because it, it, honestly, people just, you have to park on the other side of the thing if you want to go out that yes. day and people just never do and then they literally just start driving around the whole place, the, the, the because it's, it's totally contained. You can't get out. Um, Ridiculous. It's just, honestly, the most ill-thought route ever. And um, I swear she just bought it. Oh, it just causes so much chaos. And oh, it's it's hilarious, to be honest. So might might actually just stream control <laughs> and sack, sack the planes. Is anyone, everyone up for that? Uh, just like we'll just go down to my local area and we'll just like stream and just see all the people absolutely <laughs> losing their minds. And they do. Like, it, it gets... I haven't seen a full fight, but I've, I've seen something very, very close with, with a few pushes. Okay. Um, so if, if you want that instead of the uh, planes, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> uh, Adrian, good morning. Uh, it's a floppy sock. No one, no one wants a floppy sock. Nobody wants a floppy sock. Um, I'll see you later, Dean. Up, uh, fun up at Leeds. Nice one. Cheers, Dean. Do you know, I just realised that. I just saw Ian Fuller. I mentioned sock and Jim turns up. There you go. <laughs> he loves a sock. Uh, morning, Bob. Bob! There you go. And uh, Christine, you've been a member for four months. Bob of crew! I just got like the little, like the hand, like the, the hands up emoji. Yep, I get uh, the it. One that, like the one person with that, like the one hand up, if that yep. makes sense. Oh, That's in testify. I'll take that. <laughs> I can't open this thing. Oh, oh no, I've got it now. Okay. Uh, oh, it's dribbling on me. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I just have to do it with my left hand for some reason. Uh... Oh, flask rattle, rain pitter patter. Did you manage to uh, have enough milk? Uh, I just made. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Like, near just scolded myself there, so uh, that's why it went off the uh, plane. I know, I was running a bit short on milk yesterday. Certainly yeah, was. I have to get some milk today. Right. So then we've got his coffee. A lovely sound of rain. If you like me, I'll find it really uh, relaxing. I was just saying, there's a nice size comparison between the uh, A319 and A380. Certainly was. Taking a little. Uh, is Jet next out to Dalaman? It's an A320. Oh wow, they're not even sending a Neo to Dalaman. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> I thought some of the. Like, you know, like when we went to um, some of the Greece places we went mm. uh, with the Jet, I, and I was just. I was always surprised that they didn't send the Neo yeah. to that, that we weren't a CEO. Alex, say good morning. Carlos, get out of the way. <laughs> I think that's yep. what that was for. <laughs> morning, Andrew. Oh, that's absolutely bucketing down. Wow, look at it down there. Uh, oh, awesome, Andrew. Well, thank you for popping in. And um, fingers crossed for clear skies for you. See the uh, solar eclipse. Remember to get your solar eclipse glasses. Uh, you don't want to be looking at that thing. I do. Um, obviously, when it is completely covered, there is a point, but unless you've got the timings right, you do not want to burn your retinas. Please don't burn retinas. Take it from someone who has dodgy eyes. Maybe you should do it, right? Right. And then see if it 
like makes you any better? I don't think it will. I think if anything, it'll just make it worse. Oh, okay then. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it will be. Uh, I can't wait to see all the uh, like the pictures and the video and stuff like that. Yeah, um, absolutely. I still remember the one in uh, 1999. Nine. Yep. I uh, yeah, it was all. I could still remember it so clearly. Um, it's just like, even though I was only nine years old, it's just like one of those memories that I uh, probably won't really ever forget. Yeah, but I was on Turn Moss Fields. Oh, wow. I was uh, not my relatives over in uh, Austria on their farm. Uh, right now from Belfast next in. It's a 737. That's just passing Cheadle. Okay. I'm just going to keep it on this eject because like I said that bush is really irritating me and if I, if I focus on that bush again I'm just going to go crazy <laughs> right what did Ashley oh what did I do oh no got away with it <laughs> so where it is on the map now yes that's where I want to be want the okie dokie that's fine Frontwood Park then yep cool that's that's the uh, the point where uh Morning, Tracy. Great to have you in. As you can see, the visibility's gone again. Yeah. Uh, Ray, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate that. You've just been gifted one there. Can you in yeah. the chat, please say thank you. Please do. And uh, thank you so much for that, Ray, and uh, everybody who's kindly gifted their memberships today. Oh, well, this is going to be handy. Because that's going to go right... <laughs> into the spray so we're not going to see this one at all right right if you're if you're flying this right there right you just get in contact with me and go that is the best landing I've ever done <laughs> just say that and like go best landing ever nothing's ever come close it was like it was better than batter my sausage oh wow um, and I'll believe you, but I can't tell, tell you otherwise. No, I don't blame you. Uh, I think send back to back now. The F1's finished. Um, obviously, someone told me to use a colander to see the eclipse. I think it will just strain my eyes. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, so bad. Uh, the gal, good morning. Good morning. Great to have you with us. Which chair am I in here? Am I in the one with the pocket that works? Yes. Oh, the weather's back. Lovely. He's Jack from... Uh, Venice will be next in. Okay. It's an A three ninety. Sorry, that really threw me then because I'm just not used to getting a Venice arrival at this time. I mean, and uh, we've got KLM uh, E one ninety turning off finals as well from Amsterdam. Yeah, I can't get excited. Cause it's not an E two. No. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I love KLM, but however. If they don't send me an E2, and if especially if they send me an E190, I'm just going to... I'm not going to react to it anymore. Yeah. That's the type of person I am. What's that? Oh, it's the Ops car. I was going to say, that sounded like a... It sounded like a plane. It that. sounded like a plane. <laughs> it sounded like... I, I, I won't lie. I was like... Oh, I'm just going to stick up the tower now. Uh, uh, a BA uh, pinging. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it sounded like a plane with the reverses. Like, not a big plane, but... Yeah, I genuinely thought, I was like, oh, God, I've missed something. He's going to shout at me. <laughs> I'm not going to shout at you. I'm just like, gonna... Oh, it's like, I love you, but please can you not sound like planes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, wrong, good morning. Fantastic to have so many of you in the chat today. Especially with the Formula One and everything. Um, that was... Uh... Pete, I'm sick of the rain, uh, but it's sunny uh, down in Hove, and so it's the Brighton Marathon today. I'll uh, hopefully your local council is better at uh, dealing with any road closures than they are up here. Oh, I just yeah. Like I say, I'll, I'll go into the full. 
carnage next week. You, you'll love it. Uh, probably, set your alarms for yeah, it? Yeah, it'd, it'd probably be the Monday show where it, where you'll get the full kind of um, <laughs> redress in regards of it. And so, honestly, I think the, I think the councillors in Chilton must be the dumbest people walking God's green earth. Uh, Christine says sunny and nuts, and there's no marathon there. there That's go. always a bonus, isn't it? When there's no marathon. Yeah, that one in your office. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind, right? But they, they do this, and they, they literally just run in a circle around, like, Stretford and Cholton. And it's mm. like, why would you do that? You've got this amazing long road in Manchester, like, running, going from the city out to Altrincham mm-hmm. and then back. And it's yeah. just like, you, you could just extend that a little bit and then flip it around and come back. That'd be too easy. I know. Do that. Uh, is someone coming in? Because they that. Uh, yes, it's just past you though. It's the uh, easy jet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Of course, I got that bush in a stupid side. Uh, Pete, yes, we are in the tent. Um, it right, that's never broken apart now, so you should be. Able. I've got it. You've, oh, you've got it. Okay. That's good. Um, yes, we are in the tent. It's been chucking it down sporadically. Um, but uh, it's fun. I won't lie. I do you like these kind of shows? I just wish like we we had we did have like a stormy show where it was just no rain all day, didn't we? Mm. Remember that one when we were in the field at the top end? Yeah. And that was such a nice show because it was really warm as well. It was. Uh, oh, Pete, Pete's trapped in as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, due to the clothes, but then they run past. Oh. Um, run past my flat on the seafront. Yeah, it's it's irritating, isn't it? Uh, morning, Rupert. Great to have you in, mate. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you missed the uh, 0.5 seconds of sunshine before when the Emirates came in. <laughs> oh, no, it was the EasyJet going out. Don't... Oh, was it? oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, God, don't jet. get that wrong. Don't get that wrong, because we I only was had... Just, I was just trying to big it up. We had 0.5 seconds of sunshine, and it was on an EasyJet. It was uh, it was special, put it that way, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah do you know what Chris uh, Simon mentioned that when he was looking at what's coming in before? Uh, the uh, Special, the, uh, right, the 100 year, yeah. A hundred year, what the hell am I on about? Yeah. No. What is it a hundred of then? hundred kebabs. A hundred go-arounds. Oh, wow, that's even worse than hundred kebabs. A hundred terrible liveries. hundred terrible landings. hundred shades of terrible yellow. <laughs> sure it's great. <laughs> oh, uh, we have 757 and dot .com livery coming out. Some uh, morning, Martin. Right, people. All right, I, I, people, especially Jet Two. You know, people in the know. I saw a thing, and I didn't know this, right? And I, I'm still skeptical over it. But they were saying one of the reasons why um, this shade of grey. And I, I honestly, it's so sketchy. This one, but it was on Facebook, so you know. Oh God, take yeah, it exactly. Just salt, then. And they were saying um, it's a Boeing exclusive colour, so therefore they couldn't transfer it onto the Airbus. And I'm like, going, yeah, this is like an April Fool's. <laughs> You know, like you're just doing it like five days too late. An exclusive Boeing colour. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's that, but I. If I, it was that, then why has nobody else chosen it? Because it's sort of Jet 2, smash it with it. Mm. Right. Um, oh, do you know what you said about like, um, like, obviously we had April Fools last week, wasn't it? Yeah. And I saw a lot of the. Um, you know, all the companies do them and stuff. You know, oh, we're going to do this really weird flavour of drink or snack or whatever. Oh. And some made a good point. They were like, do you know what? Some of the things that these come up with, people would actually be like, yeah, do you know what? Maybe you should actually go through with the April Fool and go, yeah, we're actually going to release, like, this thing. So I think um, Ikea, for example, they did one with, like, meatball, like, like a duvet set and blanket and stuff like that. And people were like, I would actually buy this. Like, can you actually sell this, please? Yeah. Um, I think they're actually... I won't lie. I just got sick to the back teeth of companies trying to be funny. Well, that's it. It's like... So the other thing this girl was saying was that, you know, back in the day where social media wasn't kind of what it is now, there was a bit like, oh, is this is this a joke? Is this real? Is this not real? Kind of thing. And now it's just like, oh, God, what are they all coming out with this? shit? like, there's nothing left in it. It's just like they just do it for the sake of doing it and I you know we were actually saying you know well done on the ones that just didn't bother because yeah well in Manchester Airport yeah <laughs> sorry 
Uh, here I'm good morning, VHX Potter, good morning. Right, jet 2, A321, Neo, now on the roll. Off to Grenoble, sunny. Tell you what, they've been up nice and early today. All right. That's gone the uh, uh, KLM. Should be in view. Did you say it should be in view? What yeah, did... yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Barely, I could barely see that. Oh, wow, okay. I couldn't even see the. Uh... That's because it's not an E2. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah, I don't see those big <laughs> Pratt and Whitney's. And of course, no winglets on that one. Just makes it look even better, in my opinion. Good landing there from the uh, KLM, but let's be honest, I'm not that fussed. I say it's not an E2. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pete, I know there is, um, you know, they obviously the darker coloured aircraft. Uh, you know, it's just a simple thing, isn't it? It's just like if you black absorbs more sunlight and stuff, and um, and that's great but... yeah I need to do a bit of research on that one but yeah. as I say I, I'm, I was very sceptical but hey ho you never know morning Sandra oh wow that's up early and uh, yes now that uh, Jet 2 to Turin uh, 757 has passed uh Sandra saying, can we wish her husband James a very happy birthday? Happy birthday. Have a fantastic been... day. Hopefully Apart the rain the stays away. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from the weather, it's all good. I suppose it is April showers, isn't it? April showers can do one. <laughs> um, uh, Rob, uh, Rob LHR, good morning. Um, but yeah, no, I actually wanted to say, in an ideal world, uh, obviously I studied Carlos for my uh, uni dissertation. Um, no way, did you? Yeah, but what I really wanted to do, well, which I thought would be really cool, but limited resources and, uh, well, time, to be honest. But um, I wanted to see, because obviously Jet 2, it's a quite, you know, the... the grey and the white liveries and the 737s it's quite unique that you've got a dark livery and a light livery they're doing the same you know it's the same airline it's the same plane it's the same this on the other and I was like I want to know are there more bird Think strikes spots. on the darker one than the lighter one um, you know because it should technically be yeah but because um, everything else like it's a great scientific thing because everything else can say the same you know, these, you know, they're always going to go long down the runway and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, you can only, you can only do it on the seven threes. Oh yes, exactly. That's fine. You do the seven threes, but uh, you don't really, you can't do that with any other airline. Um, also, getting like up to date bird strike data is a bit like <laughs> no. <laughs> Must probably pay up a lot of money. <laughs> Easy jet after Lisbon. Travel with the Welling in from Barcelona. It's the A320. Two is lined up. Second full length. Let's see where they go. 
a ver. It says burn on approach. Yes. Uh, it's not here yet. Uh, Tiri's going to go to Heraklion. So just a stop port. Okay. Well, hopefully this one should get rolling in the next few seconds. Awesome. Sure it is. Liz, I felt you said awesome, but you didn't mean it. Awesome! Uh, yeah. And, ah, uh, oh, Debbie, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Oh, Debbie's a legend. Thank you for that, Debbie. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Debbie's just gifted you a membership. And you're in the chat, please do say thank you. because I don't have that I'm, I'm worried I'm in the pot for an, uh, my own gifted membership if that happens I will put one back in oh wow <laughs> Get, getting any money out of Liz is, is, is a miracle so uh, yeah. yeah if that happens I'm not having I wouldn't have that I, I would give one back so YouTube are like trying to make it happen right now oh would you, would you like to go on about your YouTube story this week yeah, uh, right. Oh, you so, want to say uh, it until later. Well, I know I can say it now. Welling is uh, just passing Cheadle. Uh, give it about 15 seconds. Um, right now, off to Beziers. Something like that. Nice. I'll wait for this to go. The uh, Welling should be in view. <laughs> All right, let's get down to that arrival. Have a coffee while that comes in, and then I can tell you the YouTube, the, the hilarious YouTube story. Oh, that tips its left wing down there a bit. Corrected it double quick. Let's see if there's any more moments for this uh, dwelling. To the flare. Oh, there's a couple of things happening there, but I think they dealt with that really well. Well, well done, Welling. Good job, Team Welling. That right now to Dublin will be next out. It's a 737. Oh, it's a Nigel with an ill fitting Ray Dome again. Great. Yes, it is. So, I, you know, obviously, I, I kind of, I, like, every time I say, you can just press the like button, I cringe. I cringe internally. I hate it. I hate, oh, please press the subscribe button and the like button and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's it's so not me. It's so unnatural. I hate it. And I she like, loves it, really. I really don't. She but, does. So, I, I kind of joke about it. Look, I appreciate it. I, I love that people go, I want to press the like button. I, I want that number to go up. That, that's fantastic. But before I set the stream up yesterday, because um, I was waiting for the thumbnail to download, I um, thought, you know, I'm going to just chat to YouTube. I was like, hi, YouTube. And um, Yo, YouTube, what's happening? I was like, when I'm live streaming, what does the like button do? I said, does it push the stream out more? Does it make more people see it? Does it like, What does it actually do if people press the like button? And they came back with the usual response. They like, hi, thank you for getting in touch. That's a really great question. Let me just look into this for you. And I'm like, okay. 
And then they're like, please, can we just put the chat on hold for five minutes while I do some further investigation? I thought, okay, <laughs> where, where are you going into like the, the, the big code book of, uh, of YouTube? The YouTube Bible. The YouTube Bible. <laughs> Uh, British Airways heading back down to Heathrow. Okay, 21 at Neo. Anyway, they came back after a couple minutes and they. <laughs> I've got a screenshot because I sent it to you, didn't I? So I can get their exact wording, which is just. It was the funniest wording I think I've ever seen on anything. Um, thank you for your patience. After thorough investigation yeah. of our resources, it appears that the likes during a live stream don't have a significant impact. <laughs> I was like, oh, right. Okay. Uh, what does happen? And then I was like, what does have a significant impact? I was like sharing it have more of an impact or something and they were just like i don't think they quite got the question and they're just like maybe like i think they kind of like likes might provide more impressions which is like how like how many times your stream might show up i was like i was like okay thank you for that so i was like okay i can literally now just say look press the like button so we can look popular because it really apparently does do absolutely nothing whilst we're live <laughs> it's crazy that they have such a thing though and they don't use it Oh, it's just know. a total waste, isn't it? The right. thing is that... Go on, sorry. Just having a quick look at the weather. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we are good out. So... Oh, okay. There's a little bit of rain. And then after that, there is a little bit at about 9.40. That might be worth just, like, taking the thing down and putting it back up again if it is. Okay. Because... Sounds like a plan. Uh, Easy jet from Malaga on the finals. That's just turned on. Uh, next out is Jet, Jet 2. 2 up to Barcelona. It's a 737. That plane is now officially called Labrador <laughs> so it's Reg okay uh, yeah he, I mean I. the thing is right I've actually questioned them on that before um, and gone can I actually speak to a human and they were like I am human I was like mm, okay what um, you are mate is it like uh, you're just trying to, it's like the opposite of Amazon obviously Amazon with their shops uh, you know the shops where you just walk in and just take anything like, oh we've got this amazing AI technology it scans what you're kind of doing um, and it's going to just it'll just automatically charge your account and then obviously it's come out now that actually they employed a lot of people in India to literally watch CCTV basically of people going around these Amazon shops and adding up, adding up what they're buying <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, absolutely insane but um, yeah I, I find it a bit weird I mean YouTube like when I've seen anything from like the, the sort of the big boys have put on you know YouTube uh, they don't sort of say a lot but they do always say it's like it's not an algorithm it's like a viewer based thing so it's what the audience so what you guys watch if you watch a lot of plane stuff you'll see all the plane I, I get it you know you see a lot of other plane stuff um, so well they always say change the name subs or you, you, to viewers don't they or algorithm to viewers yeah exactly like your audience and stuff yeah. because that's that is what they base it on and it's a recommendation. I, I, I kind of get it because I do, like, on my own personal one, I do get recommended the similar stuff to what I watch. Yeah, in fairness, their algorithm's quite good. Hmm. Uh, Graziano, good morning. Apart from when it doesn't push the stream out and then it's rubbish. Absolutely. So... living it large is he is he living it large or is he no, living he's, it he's living he's mad busy at work so he's, he's living, living it at work. work I was about to say he's not don't live it at large in work 
Um, once that's gone, uh, the easy jet should be in the view. Um, but yeah, so do you know what? Look, whether it does something, whether it doesn't do something, I'm just going to go with it makes us look popular and cool. If you want to press it, press that's it because you want to press it. Not because I tell you to do it. Not Unless it's Simon, because when, si when Simon says, we, we have to do it. <laughs> yeah, the rules of the game are Simon says. Well, exactly. I, I can't get away with that one. Just had a nice big yawn there. It's uh... Jody, good morning. And yes, uh, the pub, I think it opens about 10 or 11 or something, doesn't it? But uh, um, you're great when you're on these ops. Um, you will get all the arrivals. But remember on a Sunday at half past nine, they switch to single ops yeah. uh, until later on in the afternoon. Four o'clock. So you'll get the departures as well. Oh, it's one, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. But, yep, they are there. They're open. I know they had to uh, get a new Facebook page. Uh, they were hacked and they couldn't get their Facebook page back, so they've had to create a new one of them. I know that. The cyclist. Good morning. Great to have you in, mate. This Rainer is off to Rome. Seven three seven. Yeah, this one that came in earlier. We've got a prop, prop, prop. In the finals. It's an ATR 72 coming in from Guernsey. Exactly, David, the light button is just there for you to get significant numbers. The problem is now that I've got them all. <laughs> You're just too good. planes there. This is the problem when you're in a tent, you can't see what's happening. Yeah. Ellingus has pushed that. Well that's it, and so it's like Instagram, I, I really hate that thing. It's like, if you like something, you, know, you press the like button. Uh, Instagram is what you like to say, you press a, oh I like that picture or reel of a dog, and then you'll just see dog stuff constantly. Like, that is a big gripe I've got with um, that, whereas TikTok, I know, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I did actually see a good thing about that sort of, and it made a good point of, if you say like a dog, TikTok, you're like, oh, I really like that. Um, it'll show you more animal stuff rather than just dogs. Right. The forecast is now saying no rain for 73 minutes. Okay. And I'm just thinking, and it, even then it's only for like 10 minutes. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of the, the tent. Uh, well, if you have a look outside. Well, if we get the a uh, Iranian that's um, just passing Stockport, yeah. then you've got a, you've got a few minutes. We've not got an arrival for a bit. Do you want to check your things as well? Mm -hmm. See if you confirm my data. Uh, Apple saying windy. Uh, AccuWeather, yeah, just maybe a little bit of rain, but nothing much. I'd take a gamble. Yeah, Met Office, no rain until three. Yeah, I think we take a gamble on this. Because yep. we can always do again, can't we, if it does, if it does come in. Yeah. Just makes it a lot easier to do the show, standing up. Yeah. Uh, right, the arena is at uh, the spot where you should be able to see it. Okay. There it is. Focus. We have an arena. And it's not a dash. No, it's not. It's still taking another 10 minutes before it comes in. Yeah. 
Um, well, awesome, Jody. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's all. I think they're very popular. I think uh, especially if you're driving down, probably worth uh, getting there earlier. Get some parking. What are you talking about? The pub. Oh, it's. I'll just give you a warning now. Like weekends, it is absolute dire for parking there. Mm. It's not. It's not a, a slight at the, the businesses as well. They only have very limited parking because you imagine um, they can't get any more space because the airport won't give it. Them, well, won't give it them because they need the the space themselves. So um, yeah, I would say get either get there really early. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, morning Graham and uh, saying that Leeds had three go around yesterday yeah we've been alright so they've been doing well they've been absolutely smashing so, it uh, Serena's just like gone in with an absolute massive bump though I'll tell you what <laughs> you would have felt that but uh, I, I think some of the best pilot skills I've seen in a while today so it has been tricky um, yeah we do it's a slight crosswind it's, um, it was forecast to be a lot more what are you going to do right we're going to do it quickly right Everybody, we're just going to um, get rid of the tent because I, I, I'm sick of it. What it like, and I mean that in a nice way, but poor tent. I'll go around the other and side. It's sunny, so I won't be able to see anything. I'll go around the other side, and we'll just lift it and pull it back. I need to get the pegs out first. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I've just gone around this side. I can't find the peg. Where's the peg gone? Oh, there it is. Right. You got the other two? I've got two, yeah. Lift up height. Head that down. Right, next part of operation sort the try sort everything out is I will be moving the camera in a second fun bit. I apologise because we've got to go all over the show. Right. Hopefully. That works for me. Right, let's get you nice and level. Tent move another baby wipe, <laughs> wipe the mud off my hands. That looks good to me, and we're good to go. This is so much better. Liz, you can stay in the tent if you want. <laughs> Not be able to hear me as much as I'd love to. Cozy little tent. See Stanley there. Oh, for the tripod bag can dry out now because I kind of forgot about that. This one's going to be up really little early. Bag. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, I think they've taken a lot of extra fuel on board on that one. Okay. That has oh, that vibe. They are going to back to Belfast. Yeah, I think they've taken quite a bit extra on that, just in case they need to uh, divert. Uh, Hugh, thank you so much for gifting five membership. Thank you, mate. Do appreciate Absolute epic legend. support. And the good news is, to celebrate us coming out of the tent... We do have the Qatar. 
Awesome. Triple seven. And uh, yeah, if you've just been gifted a membership here in the chat, please do say thank you. Absolutely. Um, I need to do the battery in a minute. I'll get that sorted now. Morning, Sue. Good morning. Yeah, that squelch, squelch, squelch. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all we do. But that worked out quite nicely, to be honest. It did. Usually when we do that, it's uh, it can be a bit of a disaster. To, uh, if you watch the uh, one where the rain came in, that was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all sorted now. Jet 2757 will be going to Malaga. Um, I don't think it's going to be the first one, though. I no, think it'll the, be the Jet uh, 273. Well, they are going to Dubrovnik. Excellent. Over in Croatia. That is correct, Liz. That is over in Croatia. I know. Uh, highly recommend uh, a trip to Croatia. It's uh, really pretty. It's the bluest water I've ever seen in the Adriatic. Your back feel a bit better now that you've been able to stand up. Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> say like doing two shows close to each other in on that um uh, in the tent in the tent does it honestly it does really take it out of you but uh good news stood up now simon is happy <laughs> and say i can pick up the planes a lot easier as well um so liz doesn't have to be i have to ask liz where is it where is it where is it which is let's be honest is a little bit irritating <laughs> The uh, Ethiopian A350 from Geneva is probably uh, just over 10 minutes out. Maybe 15. Next out will be the uh, Aer Lingus A320. It'll be interesting to see how much fuel's on this one. Um, I mean, we can't, we don't know because we don't know the loads and everything, but I think you can sometimes just have a vibe about if they've taken an extra little bit on yes. uh, by where they rotate. Of course, we also don't know if they do D rate takeoffs, etc., etc., but it's just a feeling you can get. Qatar Dreamliner is. Uh, following. I think it'll be the Jet 2 and then it might be the, uh, the Dreamliner. The yeah, Aer Lingus ATR 72 from Dublin just turning on to finals. Excellent. Oh, Esther's back in work tomorrow. Ah, uh, well... Another day, another dollar. Exactly. You just had the opportunity day, to take loads of photos. <laughs> you what, sorry. You just, you'll just have the opportunity to take loads of photos again. Well, exactly. Chat to see what I missed whilst we were uh, sorting the tent out. Uh, Graham, no, uh, no sandwiches today. We've got some uh, like breakfast, like yeah, I think I will snacks. definitely need that in a bit. Um, yeah, do you know what Matt was just saying? Really enjoyed our uh, day in Bosnia as well. Um, 
I, it does look lovely there, I will say. Uh, I remember sort of looking at places around that area. I kind of went through like a phase of like, I think I did like Croatia, Slovenia. Um, and I've been, I've, oh, I've been to Slovakia as well. But I don't know. Anyway, and uh, there's just some really lovely places there. Qatar is next to come on. Oh, very nice. I, I, I won't lie, I definitely thought that the... Uh, the seven three is going to come on in front, but hey ho, wrong again. Won't be the first time, so it won't be the last. <laughs> uh, nice, John saying now I'll be on the uh, Aer Lingus on the eleven. Uh, getting a connecting flight from Dublin to Chicago. I'll have a great flight. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think I said this a bit ago that they've, they've got some good deals at the moment. If uh, if you're willing to do Stop the one uh, just got the spilling up. Yeah, there, Lingus, if you're, if you're happy to do the uh, transfer over in uh, Dublin. Uh, some really uh, cheap deals over to the States. Uh, you should be able to see the prop. Jet 273 lining up. Can you see the prop? Uh, nope. She cannot see a prop there. Oh, she definitely be able to see a prop. It's an invisible prop. Oh, no, yeah, it's just past, past okay. the bush now. Right, I need to change the exposure because it's just gone crazy here again. If it's not absolutely chucking it down. It's sunny. It's sunny as hell. Yeah, Paul, good morning. Right, let's go on the prop. Prop, 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 prop. Come on, prop squad, you know what to do. <laughs> He's saying love the spray from the Dreamliner. It's decent. Well, we've had enough rain for it. The least we could get is a bit of spray. Yeah, I think the uh, 7.3 is definitely waiting for uh, this arrival. I don't know, it's going. It's had enough. It said, ah, I'm not waiting for no prop. <laughs> oh, this prop's getting blown around quite a bit here now. Get it down. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I think if anything, they're just getting uh, the odd gust. So. It's not that bad, especially now the rain stopped. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Ethiopian from Geneva on finals. All right, let's go into the 7.5. Because, let's be honest, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Morning, Jenny. Hope you're well. Cheers, Jody. We're not here 24 7. Uh, I need my sleep and my food, but uh, we're out usually three times a week. 
Yeah, we do a fair stint on them shows. We do. Come rain or shine. Exactly. So, uh... So, yeah. Oh, it's a wee dream man from Cancun just turning on to finals as well. Excellent, eh? Getting a few arrivals now. Let's just ignore them. Let's mm -hmm. take in the majesty of this stunning over towards T2 because look at that multitude of tails there I love a multitude of tails yeah however as much as I like all that tail action it's the Ethiopian A350 900 that's due in next I think that's the best we've ever caught the uh, Ethiopian <laughs> I saw it when it was over the peak district. I've seen it turning onto finals. You've caught it just as it's uh, popped out from behind the trees. Just done it. Mike would be proud. Mike, we've got dodgy HDMI. Do you want a new one? Cable's just gone. That's what happens with these things. HDMI is the worst ever. It's literally just doing it as I rotate the camera. So, um, right, it's going to go dark for a second, um, and then we will come back. Right. Can you come and help? Yeah. So it's yeah. going to be this one. I want you to grab that. Which one? one. Do you want me to grab this? Yeah, and pull it. No, 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 that one. Okay. Go. And of course, it had to happen on the Ethiopian. <laughs> Someone right, had to go wrong, wrong off. isn't it? Take that place. These things do happen, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we've correctly diagnosed it. Just want to double check that we are streaming still. Yeah, yeah. It's everything's moving. Everything's good. Right. Uh, 4K bacon, good morning. Uh, they do uh, do some arrivals on 2 free left if uh, there's an emergency. Um, they can sometimes put them over here. Uh, or if something's wrong with runway one. Or do maintenance. Or if they're doing maintenance. Uh, which does uh, tend to happen at the start of the month. So uh, you'll, you'll have them land in here in the night. So yes, it does happen. In fact, we do have a video of the Cafe Pacific landing. 
on here. Yeah, we had a couple of... Uh, I remember on stream a while back. <laughs> and there's something with runway one, wasn't there? And uh, a couple of Logan... Of course, it was just Logan out, but they landed over here. Yeah. <coughs> so he's about to land. Awesome. You have no mints left at this point. I know. <laughs> I tell you what, Paul, it's good to have these with a big box of mints. No, we can't do that today. Um, I don't think I do anyway. I'll, I'll try it with the... Uh... I'll just double check if I've got it or not. I don't think I do. Then I can just put a direct feed through to it. Well, it didn't happen on that one, isn't it? Okay. It's a quick on the pan, isn't it? So, yeah. if it doesn't happen on that, it's pretty unlikely to happen. But, uh, we'll see. If it goes, it goes. Some. Um, I've got Swiss A220 coming out. Welcome back everyone. Apologies. Um, we've got a tech issue, uh, potentially. Yeah. We just have to see how it goes. Yeah. Just reseated the battery and cause the, when we've had issues like this before, it does tend to be the uh, the dummy battery that we use. This is a brand new one and it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, but I definitely think the, the HDMI wire was an issue as well. So I don't, I, I, I need to, when you do, when these things happen out in the field, it's really hard for me to actually go. Oh, it's definitely this. It's a case of yeah. you usually have to go back and then go through every component one by one, yes. and then going. Oh, actually, no, it was this. Um, so look, we'll we'll go on and we'll see what happens. If it continues to happen, I, I'm not going to do a pan show. I will just say thank you very much, uh, and we'll go and diagnose it and see if we can get it ready yes. for uh, the next show. Uh. Um, but, All right, um, Ryanair arriving. Yeah, I'm on it. It doesn't seem to be doing it again now, so okay, cool. fingers crossed. Um, it's had its little moment. Oh, nice bit of spray. Okay, we're back on. Hi, everyone. Sorry about this. Um, we are going to call it. I'm really sorry about this, but uh, I'm not going to have a cut-off back-on show kind of thing going on. Um, well, we're going to have to go and diagnose this quickly because, we'll just say, we're, we're, we're off out tonight. So I'm not... Uh, I will let you know in the community tab Yeah. in regards of what's happening. Um, there's a the possibility we might not be able to stream tomorrow, but we will uh, we will come to that and we'll sort that out double quick Yeah. and let you know. Uh, sincere apologies because I was really enjoying the show. Uh, yeah, you just got out of the especially tent. Especially because the rain has stopped. Exactly, but uh, I'm not... I like doing this thing where it just goes every two seconds. It's not fun to watch. It's, it's horrible. I hate it when people do it and continue yeah. like where they've got no internet. It Honestly, it does my head in. Yeah. Um, so sincere apologies about that. Uh, can I just say thank you to everyone who's joined us today? Yes. Um, um, even with the F1 on. Even with the F1 on. Absolutely. We're better than Max. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Take something out today. But thank you everyone who's liked and subscribed and sent gifted memberships and super chats and super stickers. Absolutely. Uh, you're all fantastic. We really appreciate it. Um, I've just had a look. Uh, Big Jet TV is scheduled to go live in an hour down at Heathrow. So You'll get your action there. Come on. like Go watch some Big Nigels. There we go. Uh but as I say, very sorry about that. Yeah, we need to we need to sort this out. So uh 
Looks like the, it's not the rain. Looks like the pilots did well in this horrible weather, but um, or the mud that's on the back of the monitor. Uh, oh, because it fell over. It fell over, didn't it? Could be that. I it could be run. that. So, um, yeah, well, that could be expensive. Oh, oh yeah, can't wait. Anyway. So, sincere apologies about that. We will see you again soon. Yeah, we will update you later on. Cheers. Uh, what's going on? Bye. Bye.